My name is Laurie Perel and my title is entomologist and I am in charge of all the butterflies here. All of the ones that come in from South America and Asia. I uh, make sure they are prepared and ready to emerge and be released into the butterfly center. What you see emerging right now are tons of blue morphos and you can see this one right here just emerge. You can see how its wings are kind of folded still and I can go like this. But um, what I do is we get these pupa, this is what you see right here, chrysalids. You get them, I get them in from El Salvador and they come in a big box with cotton and they're all nicely packed and I glue them with hot glue, low temperature hot glue, onto this string right here and um, so this allows them to hang and then I spray them with water every day, try to keep it as humid as possible and this, then they can emerge. My name is Erin Mills and I'm an entomologist in the Cockrell Butterfly Center. Um, basically, I'm in charge of taking care of all of the non-butterfly insects and insect relatives we have at the Cockrell Butterfly Center. So things like um, walking sticks, beetles, cockroaches, tarantulas, um, and I, t I maintain and create the exhibits um, upstairs in the Hall of Entomology where we have all the live insects on display. Um, I also do a lot of raising of, di of different species. The more species we can raise in-house, the less money we have to spend on buying them from suppliers across, um, across the world. So um, I'm always experimenting with different types of insects that I can raise. A typical day for me, um, I get here about 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I head up to the insect zoo and I have to go through every little case and make sure everybody is healthy and happy and alive. We'll go out two or three times a week during our busiest season and we'll go to elementary schools and we'll take some of our biggest, most impressive bugs and, you know, teach the kids about them and let the kids pet them and, um, and just um, always dealing with the public. We have lots of phone calls about bugs, um, people who want things identified or have questions about butterflies or anything like that. Um, so just depends. There's always something different every day that needs to be taken care of. So. <laughs>